Hello everyone, this is Jozef Not here and welcome back to this um, part of my playlist of the, this video series where I would like to show you the most important commands in Linux so you can become a Linux Pro yourself. So in this video I'm going to uh, show you the file system. So these are not additional commands but what's the difference between Windows and Linux because there is a big difference and I'm going to show you at least some parts of the file system. Okay so with that let's jump in at this point. Okay so here you see the background of Ubuntu, which I'm using as an example for Linux. And uh, what you we are going to do here, like in the first video, I'm going to open up a terminal. And I'm also going to up, open up a file, these files, which is kind of an explorer. Come on, open up. In Windows, it's called Nautilus in uh, Ubuntu. So now we are, as you see, in the same folder. And in the first video, we took a look at how you can navigate here, go into, and you see these are the files that we created and deleted. And now I want to show you the, the file system, what's happening here. Okay, so um, if I want to go now, up why can't i go up no that's not a good idea okay so let's start again okay <clears throat> okay so here you see the background of ubuntu which i am using as an example for linux and now i want to show you the file system okay so i op open up a terminal here on the right hand side you can also press ctrl alt t to do that and we already uh took a look at how you can navigate in the terminal in uh, Linux in, a, in the command line uh, with CD um, and we went into documents, we created there a couple of directories and files and deleted them and now we want to take a look at outside of our home directory. So now if I type in CD dot dot this will move me one uh, level up and here you see the homes of all the users available on your PC. So this is mine and then the test user that I just set up in the last um, video. So now if I go again up up, now we are in the root home system. This is slash. In Windows usually you have different drives and usually the system is saved on the drive C and then you have your program files, you have your system, uh, uh, your Windows files and then <clears throat> in Windows you have your stuff which is important for Windows. So it's, Linux does not have a Linux folder on a drive but the drive is this, the root and then in the root you have all the Linux files and then you see that there is one folder called home and in that folder you have your documents. So it is not like in Windows that you have your documents plus Windows. Here you have Linux and in Linux you have one folder where you have your files. So if I just type in home and then my user you will see my um, my documents that we just sh 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 saw at the beginning. So this is what I wanted to show you here. So an additional interesting uh, point is here media, because in media is usually where you have your, if you plug in an external drive, this is where Ubuntu will automatically mount the external USB drive. So if you want to access in the terminal files on your external USB drive and you are using the desktop version and not the server version of Ubuntu, then the desktop version will mount the external drive into slash so uh, if I go back to my home, for example, you can access this with ls slash media and then your user. And then 
you will have your the name of your external drive. So this might be an important point. And another important point might be is um, in slash opt here. Okay, so currently the, I'm uh, running the guest editions here, and but this is where certain software might be installed for you. So if you um, open the Ubuntu store and then you install something, then uh, the possibility that it is being installed to slash opt is very high. Because usually this is the out of the box um, position for software to be installed automatically by Ubuntu. If you do it yourself, then most maybe you will install it to a different location. But you are, if you're not asked where to install, this is a very good guess where you can look for it. Okay, so this is actually what I wanted to show you because the other things are very um, um, operating system specific and might not cons uh, concern you. You might Google maybe dev here, what this means, but this is really then hardware and open, uh, um, uh, operating system specific. I wanted to show you here that your you have slash, which is the root file system, Linux file system, and then in your Linux files you have your home and your documents, which you are working with. Then you have the external hard drive, usually in media, and the software which is being installed in slash opt. And you might need uh, root privileges, but as I showed you in the last video with the command sudo, you can execute every command, for example, ls as a root, and then it is being, um, it's ask you, to type in your password, which you can do. And then if you don't have privileges in that folder, then you can take a look at that folder. Okay, so this is what I wanted to show you the file system, at least some parts of the file system of Linux. So you have a rough idea what we are dealing with. I hope that you like this video. Um, and that you will continue looking at uh, the further videos because now we are coming to the interesting part where you can really, really speed up your work in um, with text files if you're programming, for example. So with that, I would like to thank you for watching and listening, and I hope to see you next time.